Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and here I am at the JCB Live Link Centre inside the JCB World Park Centre. This is going to be a fascinating part of the journey where we go and see what Live Link's all about and how that connects with all of the JCB assets and beyond to help customers get the best out of their equipment. So what's really interesting here, as soon as we come into the Uptime Center, we've got a wall of the world right here. This is what they call the World Park Center because we've got the world in our palm here. And Tom, this is telling us about everything that's going on, isn't it, right now out there in the field? Absolutely, we're combining all that data that's coming through the telematic system live link. There's about 350,000 assets that are all reporting in live today from across the globe, operating all, across all continents and reporting into both this uptime center and our other five that we've got around the world. Let's take a quick look, folks, at what the setup is here. So we've got a whole team that Tom looks after here in the uptime center. And Tom, what's really interesting is you said not just here, but we've got other places around the world. What's the sort of hours ratio for what we're doing here and then what the rest of the world is doing? Yeah, absolutely. So we're running about 8 till 6 p.m. During, uh, during the year here in the uptime center. But then we've got our other five centers that are operating so we can follow the sun all the way around the 24 hour clock. Now you offer different services to customers, uh, not just in the construction market, but also in the agricultural sector. You told me about that earlier. Tell me what, what's that added extra that you can offer? Yeah, absolutely. We understand that here in the UK, our agricultural network demand that little bit of extra support during harvest season. Yep. So we do offer a package called Uptime Plus that's available on our fast track tractor and our large wheeled loading shovels as well. That that gives some out of hour support, some dedicated parts coverage and a backup fleet to keep you moving when it matters most. That's really important, isn't it? Because, you know, people buy products and products, as we all know, need to have that uptime, particularly in those sectors. And the, the guys in the harvest period, Tom, you were saying to me earlier, obviously every minute makes it count, doesn't it, in that time? Absolutely. They've got a really short operating window through which time they've got to be working with that machinery. It's what they buy it for and we're here to support them in doing that. That's great. And what is linking here is not just the data that's coming through from the machines, but what you're doing is you're connecting customer machine to customer dealer, aren't you? Tell me how it, that works, because we're seeing that happening right now behind us. Absolutely. So the team here is made up of parts and technical specialists. They're there as one team to really support our dealers in providing that industry's finest customer experience. Now that's one step in the piece, supporting those dealers. We've also given dealers the same view of the world that we've got, but just shrunk down to their machine park. So 30 of our largest dealers, including our UK construction network, have all got a version of our uptime center within their facilities. So it's not just world uptime from JCB, it's taking that information per customer, per dealer, so that you can tear that down to get that personal service. And I guess that alert, that uptime alert, that's going straight down to one of your dealers, then it's got uh, one of their guys on the road, and therefore you're getting all of those people there as fast as possible, I think. Absolutely, it means that everyone's looking at that same picture. We've got one version of the truth and everyone's yeah. working to maximize that uptime. And the final piece of that puzzle yeah. is the customer uptime, which we'll go and see now. So this is where I get to sit on the sofa in the Live Link lounge as such. Well, it's the Live Link center, folks. But this is where you can actually sit back as a customer and look at your equipment live. And the team run by Tom here can actually show you what's going on look at your data and really educate the industry as to what's going on. Things like idle time, things like how your equipment's being used. It's a real eye-opener, isn't it, Tom? What sort of stuff goes on in here and, and what's the impact when a customer has been for a visit here? You're absolutely right, Peter. What we're seeing is increasingly customers are becoming more aware of that power of the telematics data, but still there's a huge amount of value in there that they're simply not unlocking. The LiveLink Centre is all about unlocking that potential bringing customers in with their local dealer and helping them understand what their machine's producing that can help them with the business. And what we're seeing in the market with fuel prices increasing, changes to the red diesel to go to white diesel, all that value you can take out of that's just becoming more and more important and more and more valuable for people's businesses. So getting them in here, reviewing the data about their particular machines, looking at their assets in the field and understanding how they can use that that data to change their businesses to help them increase uptime, make better decisions, and also 
as a whole improve and grow their businesses. And what's really important is people get so confused about data and they're like overwhelmed by it. But what you do as a team is you take the data that's coming in and you make it into information. So you make it make sense, Absolutely. you know, so the things are, it's like idle time, it's like health alerts and it's like things like seatbelt alerts we've talked about before. That's the important bit, isn't it? When the customer sort of then goes, oh, I get it. Yeah, absolutely. That, that light bulb moment is what we live for. And you're, you're right, we've not been in this game for a couple of years. We've been working with telematics for over 12 years now. And what we know is that people get blinded by that constant flow of data towards them. That's not what they want anymore. They want actionable insight, telling exactly what action they need to take to either increase their uptime or help them make a better decision in running their fleet. So it's great to see you've got a centre here that people can come and visit and, and you're going to encourage them to do that, aren't you? Absolutely. We'd encourage everyone to have a conversation with their local dealer about how they can get the most out of LiveLink, get them talking about what's important to you and your business and specifically that person. Because if you said, everyone in a business wants to see different things. If you're the health and safety manager on site, you're not particularly interested in idling. What you're more interested in is all those safety alerts, people operating without seat belts, load moment indicators, all that data for health and safety manager might not be as relevant to someone who's on the production side. So it's about making sure the right information's in the right hands at the right time to make those valuable decisions. So here folks is the screen that matters. We've done all my checks but unfortunately there's a little bit of red we can see at the bottom there. Tom, what's that all about? And I don't like failed and an alert signal which we've got right here. Absolutely. So when you're up in the quarry, you used our new operator app to perform your daily check on the machine. It's something that we know is a site requirement across the globe, not just here in the UK. And more often than not, these are completed on a paper sheet. Now, me as the site manager in this example wouldn't know anything about that until you'd returned your paper check sheet back to the office, potentially at the end of the day or even worse, the end of the week. Yep. But now with the Live Link system and the JCP operator app, I got an instant alert. I was notified to the fact that you recorded a failure on your check sheet. And from that failure, we can go into the actual checklist that you completed. We can see the checks that you were asked to complete and quite clearly one's failed. Oh dear. And when we go into that, we can then see why it failed, and it's because there appears to be a slight obstruction in the man basket. Yes, and unfortunately that obstruction is me, but that's why I did it deliberately, folks, because I wanted to show you that these things actually work. And we can see there um, that it was four hours ago uh, that that happened. So that issued report came in at 11.30. Eight was pinged to the team here, and Tom, you're able to show me a little bit of a failure, I'm afraid. Fortunately, it wasn't a health and safety failure. Fortunately, it was just me sending in a man basket, and it was completely safe. But it just shows how that works in real time, in a real site, that I was in just four hours ago. Cheers. Thanks, Peter. <laughs>